Welcome back, f***ing maniacs. Uh, my apologies for not putting out a video last week. The time I was supposed to use for making that video, I actually used for making the extension that's in this video. So we got a little, little balled up and time crunched, but that's okay. Because now we got a, like a really good polished turd ready to present to you. Um, I think everybody's going to enjoy it. If you're coming here from the other Spotify video, please make sure you disable those actions and or delete them out of your Spotify. Don't want the two Spotify controllers doing some weird thing and they're not going to work. So disable at the minimum, preferably delete the other one, and then uh, go ahead and follow the instructions here. If you're more of a pictures person, the link down in the description to Mustache Maniac website, I have an entire write-up with pictures. The only thing I ask is you keep this video playing in the background because, you know, I'll take an extra three minutes watch time. Otherwise, I'm excited to put this out. Um, please, by all means, I'm looking for feedback. I'm looking for bugs. I'm looking for anything and everything you can find once you do get it installed. So come through the Discord and we'll get things ironed out. For now, though, sit back, shut up, and follow the clicks. All right, to get started at installing MM Spotify 1000, we're going to head to developer.spotify.com. The link is down in the description if you just want to copy and paste. Uh, once you get to this site, you can either create an account if you don't have one or just log in. Um, by clicking the drop down arrow here after we log in, we'll go to our dashboard. And on the dashboard section, if you've created an app before, you'll have it in here. If this is blank, that's okay, because we're going to go up to here and press create app. Once we create an app, there's only a couple required. Uh, the app name is required, so we're gonna call it whatever we want to, it does not matter. I wanna make it V1000 because I've already got a V1000. And we'll just say Control Spotify via Camerabot. Again, app description is required, so we gotta leave that there. The redirect URI is extremely important. I'll zoom in, you can find it down in the description of this video, but this needs to match verbatim. And after that, we can leave all of these unchecked. Just check that we understand and agree to their developer terms and press save. Now we're on the homepage of our app. Um, none of this stuff matters. All we really need to do is go into settings here and we'll see a client ID as well as a client secret. Um, so we press the client secrets that way we can get access to both of them. Open up a text file so we can copy them client ID and I'm going to paste it and then client secret and I'm going to copy that one and then also paste it on my text document. We need both of these to get everything set up. Um, come back down here, verify your redirect URI matches what it should be and it is. That's all we need from the Spotify developer app so we can go ahead and close out of here and head into StreamerBot. Alright, so now that we're headed over to StreamerBot we're going to press the import button up at the top of StreamerBot here. We're going to drag and drop the previously downloaded file into the import string box. You'll notice that you're getting 14 actions, 1 queue, 12 commands, and if you're using 0.2.3 beta or higher, you'll have a timed action. 0.2.2 StreamerBot versions and previous will not include a timed action because it's not importable. Press the import button and press OK, acknowledging all the commands will be set to disabled. And you can see that by going to the commands tab and everything is red. This time we could really go ahead and group enable all of them. If you're using StreamerBot 0.2.2 and earlier, you need to do this next step. If you are using 0.2.3 beta and above, you can skip this step. What you're going to have to do if using 0.2.2 is go to settings and then up here to timed actions. We need to add the timed action that's not going to import with it. So you'll right click and you'll see the add dialog, press add. In the timed action, we're gonna name it Spotify Auto Runner, just like the one you see in my screen up there. Leave enabled and repeat checked and then set the interval to one second, press okay. All right, so now that we've created the timed action, we're gonna move back over to our actions tab located up here and go down to Spotify Auto Runner. From there we'll see we don't have a trigger currently. So we're going to right click, go to Core, Timed Actions. And once we click that Timed Actions, we'll get a drop down menu where we can select our Spotify Auto Runner timer. From that we're going to press OK. 
And now everything else is just about ready to go. The following step will require us to go to initialization. And from initialization, we'll see over here, we need to copy and paste our client secret and our client IDs from earlier. So we'll double click on the box, go to our text file that had our client ID, grab it, and paste it. Press OK. And then we're going to go down to our client secret. Same thing. Paste it. Press OK. This is just a note in case you didn't get into the description or in the written text to use this URI. We did when we create our app, so there's nothing further done. After you've saved the client ID and the client secret, we can go ahead back up to the top stream robot, press save. In order for initialization to happen properly, we need to make sure that we launch our Spotify app. It has to be open and running so that it knows which device to associate with. So open it, minimize it, and then we can head to the chat button to pop our chat out for StreamerBot. Once the chat's popped out, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to go to the chat entry field and type Spotify, I-N-I-T for Spotify initialization. Once we do, we'll get a nice little pop-up window here. It says, this is our app. We want to do all these things to your account. You press agree. And then you'll be greeted by my pretty face. You can close out of that web browser. You should get a success message in your chat saying congratulations. Your Spotify account can be controlled by whatever the name of your computer is. Yes, my computer's name is Mustache Maniac. So that checks out. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is just a few of the commands. Um, all of the commands are listed in the Bot extension site as well as on the Mustache Maniac website with the picture walkthrough. Um, however, we'll go over a few of them just to show you. Exclamation mark play. Plays the player, as you can see down here. Time is going up, so that's a good one. Pause will pause it. Skip will skip it. All of the things you expect out of a player are working wonderfully. Um, additionally, you can do things like see the queue for what's coming up next. If you do exclamation mark Q, it shows you one song. If you do exclamation mark Q3, it'll show you the next three songs. Um, you can accept song requests by either song and artist combination, just song name, and or a Spotify link. Why don't we grab a song? There we go. Copy the song link. So we'll do first a song request by Slaughter to Prevail using just the song name. That's been added to the queue. And now we're going to add another song request by Spotify track link. It will not accept playlist, artist, or album URIs, but it will accept track links. Added them to the queue. Now if we check the queue, we should see our song request. However, that's kind of a lot of words and not everybody wants to know who requested the song. So if you want to turn that feature off, just do request your name off. It'll no longer show it. So if we run the queue again, you'll see that we get the three songs without the request your name on there. Request your name, we can turn, we can say on, we can say yes, we can say true. All of them will show the name. We skip the song. Currently, it shows you the song that's coming up next, as well as the requester. Again, with requester name off, that would be excluded. However, you can also exclude the song from showing up when a new song plays. So now if we skip, it will no longer show a new song. It just skips to it. It does not disable the song command, however, which shows you the song and requester by using exclamation mark song. Um, the other really neat feature we got is the volume. If you look down here, which I'm currently blocking for you, so we're going to fix that. All right, let's get our player up here. So we see the volumes currently at about, I don't know, 70. If we go volume 10, it'll set it to 10. Pretty cool. Pretty standard. The cool feature that ours has, though, is if you look in StreamerBot, it's also got an argument. So this is disabled currently. 
However, if I were to enable this argument and I just use volume, it's going to set it to whatever that argument was at. It seems kind of basic in this application of just showing you, but if you want to do something like when you go to your just chatting screen, you want to pause the song or you want to set the volume at a lower tone when you're chatting versus when you're gaming, you can take that sub action and put it in other actions so that on scene change, it does this. Really, really powerful feature, I think, that uh, not many people realized was an option, and now they do. Um, and I think one more I want to go over is Last. Last shows you the last song that was played. And if you do the last three, four, five, it'll show you the last three, four, five. One caveat with the last is this goes across all your devices on your account. So if you drove in your car and you played a song and then you jumped on your computer or you had one playing on your phone, it does not differentiate. So the last three songs are the last three songs. Other than that, I think that's a general basis of the command functionality. Again, you can check the Stream Robot extension site when it gets approved over there or you can check mustachemaniac.com and check the link in the entire write-up, which is down in the description. Thanks again, you f***ing maniacs. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I'm super stoked to get this extension out there. I know I've been talking about it for f***ing months. I actually just started working on it recently, but it's been an idea for a long time. Um, I do want to give an extra thanks to DeGrawley Bear, FGR Freak On, and Tommy3621. All three of them f***ing stellar dudes. Uh, they've been helping me debug and test run and try and break out of this thing and they broke it a few times which has been really cool um to all the ko-fi supporters thank you very much i hope that you enjoyed the week long ish early access to this um but if you're watching this now make sure you go download the most recent copy because i did make a couple of minor tweaks to everybody else i appreciate you being here share this video with a friend Subscribe to the channel, let everybody know all of the shitty content that I'm making, please. And at the very least, you, you can at least like come through and make fun of me. Till next time, we'll catch you later, maniacs.